Hello everybody. So it's uh, time for a drink again. It's Saturday night um, and tonight I'm going to make uh, Corpse Reviver number two. Um, and this is sort of the first drink that kind of turned me on to the whole craft cocktail thing. And I kind of have to give a shout out to my friend Lynn Brelsford. She's the one who turned me on to this particular drink. And it's a Prohibition era drink that disappeared mainly because the United States wasn't allowing absinthe. It was illegal for a long time. And it's kind of the secret ingredient in a drink. It's not that difficult a drink to make. You're all gonna be like, oh, there's so many steps involved. But it's really, really easy. So it's a four ingredient drink. It's gin, and this is Bar Hill Gin, which to me is like the greatest gin in the world. It's made right here in Vermont. Um, it's Cointreau, our orange liqueur. It's Lillet Blanc, and it's fresh lemon juice, and they're equal parts, so it's easy to remember. If you can remember the four ingredients, they're all equal parts. Uh, so I've already squeezed my lemon juice, because I didn't really want to bore you with the squeezing of the lemon juice. So there's our lemon juice, and we're gonna add gin. And so to make one drink, it's an ounce of each of the four main ingredients. And so I'm making two drinks because nobody likes to drink alone. So there's our Bar Hill Gin, two ounces. I'm gonna do two ounces of the Cointreau. And two ounces of Lillet Blanc. Lillet Blanc is a white wine based, um, fortified wine, kind of like vermouth a little bit. And there you go. So we got our four ingredients. Now, the secret to this drink is the absinthe. So the absinthe, what you do with this is absinthe is very strong, both in flavor and in uh, alcohol. So you only need a tiny bit. So this was an expensive bottle of, of absinthe, but it's probably gonna last me a couple of years with the amount that we use in this. Because all we do is we take our glass, which I've been chilling with some ice in it. We're gonna get rid of the ice and we're gonna do an absinthe rinse. So you just take the absinthe and we're gonna do a rinse. So it's just a little bit in each glass and then you just kind of swirl it around. And you, so you just wanna coat the glass with it. So you just kind of get enough to coat the glass. You don't want to waste any, so we'll do that. And coating the glass. And then you just want to dump out the excess because it's pretty strong and it will overwhelm the drink if you have more than that in there. So I've got my mixing tin with the ice already in it. I've got my four ingredients in equal parts. Everything going into the shaker. And we're going to shake it. Strain it into our prepared glasses. And garnish it with a cherry, which I'm just gonna drop into the glass like that. So this is the Corpse Reviver number two. Corpse Revivers are so called because they're kind of an eye-opener drink, but if you're drinking this in the morning with a hangover, then you're a better person than I am. So, cheers to a nice Saturday night with a Corpse Reviver number two. Cheers. <laughs>